Thus, through controlled heating and cooling, specific changes in the properties of steel are achieved. I would say that some collisions is about... It is a look at a human being in the way that they interact with the world on a physical level. The piece that we want to make is about having a physical occurrence happen that is strong enough that it leaves a scar and then how that scar and how that event has affected you and how you reflect on it. Coming off and landing right there and burning the, the, the bejesus out of me. And being like a kind of annoying place to have something. Because your watch or rubber band. What has happened in this process to change the properties hmm. of the steel? That one was in Russia. By connecting to this larger body of stories that are out there in media, through color, through relevant and related facts, all these little parts will be brought back together into this physical mapping. Starting with the physical marks and then going backwards through the experience and through the emotional state, we get a deeper understanding of the person. It is an art project and it will be beautiful, but I think it goes way beyond the art project to being a framework that can be applied towards deeper engagement. When you were that age to like deny the people that you knew so closely and so, um, you know, so intimately at that time. But, uh, yeah. We're physical beings, that every part of us is, has a, a backstory to it. And that when you look at something like a scar, it's really specific because it's, it's honest, it's the, it's the representation of an absence, right? It's that something yeah. was, was chopped out. Space. Yeah, and then that negative space is filled with, with a scar. Because it's like big, it's the size of a dime. A small dime. I have <laughs> a scar right here above my eyelid. It appears to be nothing more than just an extra fold. This happened when I was uh, 10 years old. My brother and I were wrestling, and he threw me, and I hit my head. A study of the hardening of steel shows that steel can be hardened by heating and quenching. Hardness, however, is only one of the useful properties of steel. Toughness, for example, is frequently essential. But fully hardened steel is not tough. On the contrary, it is usually brittle. Uh, but it's, it's always kind of perplexed me as to why I don't fully understand where the other cross the X came from. Um. It was New Year's Eve. I was asked to cut the green peppers for the crudite plate. And I like cut it in half. I didn't even get to like the slicing it part. Um, and I just sliced a chunk of my pinky almost off, not quite. And it bled for hours and hours. Tempering and I, like, held or drawing, as the process is also a called, is a method of toughening steel yeah, after it has been it. hardened. Slicing duty, pretty much for myself. In the toughening process, the hardness is reduced. When we speak of toughness, we need a quantitative guide, an accurate means of measuring it. 